Movies aren't original anymore. It's all sequels, remakes, reboots, and stories based on comic books. It's all quick editing and special effects. You know, I hear that all the time, and frankly, it's just a load of crap. There's plenty of interesting original work being created. You just need to know where to find it. Well, hello there, old man Kelly here. Jeff to my friends, and you can call me Jeff. Look, Hollywood is all about the money. It's not about them being unoriginal. They just give the people what they want because, well, that brings in the cash. But you know, there are many interesting original films being produced. You just need to know where to find them and, well, I'm here to help. So today I look at the 2017 film, I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore, written and directed by Macon Blair. It stars New Zealand actress Melanie Linsky, Lord of the Rings Elijah Wood, and others. Now, it's listed in Netflix as a drama, which threw me off a little because it's really a quirky crime thriller with a comic edge. I went into this film without knowing anything about it. At first, I thought it was going to be one of those films in which a depressed, lonely person whose life is getting them down learns to find love, the meaning of life, or something like that. You know, one of those boring, semi-autobiographical, independent films of growth that so many young filmmakers like to produce? And between the title and the first 10 minutes of the film, it seemed I was right, but soon I found I was wrong. Way wrong. Our lead character, Ruth, played by the wonderful Melanie Linsky, is having a bad day. After feeling unappreciated at work and meeting a few rude people, she arrives home to find out her house has been robbed. The thief took her laptop, her medication, and her grandmother's antique silverware. After Ruth figures the police aren't going to help, she begins her own dangerous investigation with the help of her martial arts crazed neighbor, Tony, played by Elijah Wood. Eventually, she meets the bad guys, gets in way over her head, and, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there's guns, blood, and murder involved. When asked what she wants, she replies, for people not to be assholes. Don't we all want that? The film takes a few twists and turns that frankly I didn't expect. But a quick bit of warning, it gets a bit gory at the end, so take that into account. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. I will say I thought the characters were fantastic, the direction was great, and it kept me on the edge of my seat. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was delightful. And I can't say enough about Melanie Linsky. I remember all the way back to Peter Jackson's Heavenly Creatures in But I'm a Cheerleader. She's amazing. This is actor and writer Megan Blair's directorial debut. It premiered at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival and went on to win the Grand Jury Prize at the U.S. Dramatics Competition. It was picked up by Netflix, which is where I saw it, and it currently holds an 88% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty damn good. Now I'll have a link to the trailer in the show notes below. One might ask, if this movie's so damn good, why didn't I see it in my local theater? Well, when the big studios spend a billion dollars on their latest superhero epic, that's where all their advertising dollars are gonna go. So even if I don't feel at home in this world anymore, played in your local theater, you wouldn't have known anything about it, so you wouldn't have gone to see it. Don't believe me? Well then tell me, what was the last film you saw in the theater? Now if you're one of those people who bitch about Hollywood's lack of creativity, check out the Filmmaker IQ video, Our Comic Book Superhero Movies Destroying Cinema, in which John P. Hess does a fantastic job of explaining why you are misguided. I'll have a link to it in today's show notes. So this film gets a huge recommendation from me, and if you want to help turn Hollywood around, seek out more films like this and stop going and paying high prices for, for well, what? Oh, you're excited about the new Avengers movie? I get it. So if you've got a film you think I should see, something that perhaps I hadn't heard of before, please leave a comment for me in the show notes below. I'd really appreciate it. I love checking out new stuff. So this is Old Man Kelly saying thanks for watching Beyond Hollywood. I'll have more in the future and um, take care. <laughs>